Hey everybody, welcome to the Dealerie's book series. Um, before we get started, please give the thumbs up. Um, all right, so I wanted to have a little fun today. So we're doing Carol and Sparks, the undead next door. It's the uh, steak series I've been doing. I wanted to have a little fun with this, so I tried to, I'm going to tell you what the real deal is at the end of the video. But um, I thought I would experiment with doing one of those AI type situations. So I put the info in and I'll tell you what the real info is at the end. Um, it says intro to fashion show runway. I stand at the end of a bustling runway, the crowd buzzing with anticipation. My heart races as I prepare myself to present my latest collection. I am John Luke S. Sharp, renowned fashion designer and a vampire. Narrator, meet John Luke Yashop, the Im 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 fashion icon with a dark secret. As the lights dim, a figure catches my eye. Heather Lynn Westfield, a school teacher with a passion for fashion, watches intently from the front row with dreams filled eyes. Little does she know that her world is about to entwine with mine. How's that the bed? Um, Cut to uh, studio. I stand in my lavish design studio, surrounded by mannequins sporting exquisite garments. Suddenly, a shadowy figure emerges from the darkness. It's an assassin determined to end my immortal existence. Narrator. But John Luke's world is not without danger. Before the assassin can strike, Heather accidentally stumbles into the scene. Heather grasping... What's happening? I grab her arm, pull her into a hidden passageway, away from the intimate danger. <laughs> John Luke, sincerely, I am John Luke, and I need your help. Can you trust me? Heather, their frightened senses an unspoken connection and nods. Together we embark on a thrilling journey to an unraveling the mystery surrounding my existence, all while chasing our own dreams. <laughs> um, cut to a Parisian cafe. John... John, Luke, and Heather sit in a cozy corner table, sipping steaming cups of coffee. Vampires don't drink coffee. This is so cool. Um, uh, Heather, teary-eyed. I've always dreamed of becoming a fashion designer. I never had the courage to pursue it until now. Your strength inspires me, John Luke. John Luke, smiling. And you, Heather, have awakened something in me, something profound. Together we create magic both on and off the runway. Wink, wink. Narrator. In a tale unlike any other, these two individuals from different worlds find solace in one another's arms. Can their love endure, or will the darkness surrounds John Luke tear them apart? Cut to fashion show runway night. The runway lights illuminate the grand stage once more. Jean Luke... Now armed with Heather's unwavering support, unveils his narrow, most daring and innovative collection yet. Narrator. Witness the transformation of power, of love, and passion as John Luke brings fashion to life. The crowd erupts thunderous applause, captivated by Jean Luke's creation. Heather, beaming with pride, is overcome with a sense of accomplishment. Ah. <laughs> uh, Exit. Rooftop. Nighttime. Jean Luke and Heather stand atop a picturesque Parisian rooftop. The city sparkling below. John Luke whispering, Heather, your love has shown me a world beyond the dark that have plagued my existence. Together we are invincible, Heather tearfully, and together we shall conquer any darkness that comes our way. They share a passion to kiss. Their love stronger than ever. Narrator. John Luke Sharp and Heather Lynn Westfield, bound by love and ambition, prove that sometimes their most extraordinary stories emerge in the most unexpected places. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Did you like that, Casanova? Did you like that? Okay, now, the real story. <laughs> you like that? I wish I could put a bubble on his... and put thoughts. There are some other channels that do that. I have no idea. <laughs> You're doing good, Casanova. He likes the camera. You know he's scared of girls. <laughs> you have an itty bitty girl cat, and he's just scared of them. <laughs> All right, so where was I? Oh yes. So, John Luke Shop 
is a famous fashion designer, but he's a vampire. So um, this is his last. He's moved. He's usually stationed in Paris, New York, or California. But he's the paparazzi's gotten to know him too well, and he's got to go in hiding for 25 years so he can come back as his son. So he goes to Texas of all places. And um, they have a fashion show there, and he meets Heather, Heather Lynn, and the assassin is coming after Luke, and he decides, um, when the assassin finds out about Heather, he decides to go for Heather instead. And there's a whole lot of angst, uh, romantic angst, when Heather finally finds out that he's a vampire, and Fidelia, the uh, babysitter, is a riot. She's a, she's a panic. She's also a fortune teller. Um, the whole gang is here. Ian and Angus and Roman and Shannon and Emma. The whole gang is here. If you catch up on their stories, I love the fact that it's like a soap opera. It's one continuous storyline from book to book to book. So read them in order. And um, uh, what was it? Oh, How to Marry a Millionaire, Vamps in the City, and uh, Be Still My Vampire Heart. Yes, check out my videos on those. Um, but it's, it's a, it's a good story. It's, you know, um, there's some twists and turns. It's mostly, um, when Heather first finds out, she's like, ah, but Fidelia is like, oh, cool, romantic, hot. <laughs> and Heather's like, yeah, you know, this is... and she has Bethany, your daughter to take care of and her ex-husband and the school angst. And I love the carnival. They go to a carnival and they dunk the coach. It's so cute. So you've got to check it out. And um, I hope the AI story inspires you. <laughs> it's really good. So have a good day. Say goodbye, Casanova. Oh, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.